Welcome back to Create and Craft with Katie and as you can see today we are going to be doing my staircase garland. Now I've already put the garland in because it was super heavy, took two people because it was um, probably my most expensive, oh hey Frankie, uh, Christmas uh, piece apart from uh, a Christmas tree because it came from front gate now I would not pay the price that it was initially but at 75% off I think I only paid about $60 and it's pre-lit um, and it's a very heavy substantial garland uh, as you can see I have it swagged up the staircase like this these are the each piece here is attached with um, a long zip tie now I don't this this staircase I want to change it out eventually it's probably the last thing in the house that will be done uh, and I don't like these uh, oak colored uh, spindles and so I don't, it's got a big thick handle so I used another garland here and actually attached it weaving it in uh, so that it covered up most of the wood tones um, because they're just not how I'm decorating uh, in this house. Now, I've also added in my big bells that you will have seen in a previous video. Uh, people wanted to know if you could actually hang them, whether, they, uh, whether the tops that I made work. Well, they work perfectly. All of these are attached. I use a piece of the of the garland. This one's got a, it's a mixed, so some of them are soft with no uh, wire in the middle, so you can't really attach things. But ones that I've got the pine on them, all I do is attach them through the handle, weave it round, and you squeeze it into place, and then they sit all the way going up the garland. So this is giving you a bit more close up of how these bells attach. You see, I always think that it's nice to show um, a DIY in action because some people will go, oh, that's super cute. I'd love to make it, but I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. So uh, if you watched the previous video, you can see I used some of the bells above my bed. Uh, I used a different style bell in a wreath that uh, you may have seen or not seen. It's a fairly new video. And these ones are the ones that you saw in the others. These are the ones from the really big, these are the nine inch mixing bowls. Um, now this garland is pre-lit. It works with big D batteries. So they do not last very long. I wish there was a way I could plug them in, but that's the way it goes. So what we did was we invested in rechargeable batteries because that way uh, we're not replacing them quite as often. So I've mentioned many times in my Christmas videos that I like to add additional light. And this one, as I say, is already lit, but I want to add something a little different, a little extra. And so I have these candles these are from Amazon they come with a little remote so you can turn them on and off and these little lanterns come from Walmart they're like 297 something like that and they have a little slot under the bottom and you twist it to take it out this one is already switched on but then off with the remote so that it's ready to go on once it's been installed. So we'll then put the little votive in here. Back in and twist it so that it's actually back here inside the lantern. And then I've spaced them out up the stairs so I can work out where on the garland I want them to go. Uh, because while they don't have to be symmetrical, 
they do need to be evenly lit across the uh, the piece so we're gonna see if we can see this piece here we're going to attach into here and the same as we do with all of these that have a wired part to them be it a garland be it christmas tree um, a wreath anything like that so we're going to attach the lantern through a piece of the garland find another piece that's on the other side of it I'm going to twist it to tie it in together and so I'm going to add the others all the way up the stairs so as you can see now I have them installed on here and the candles are lit on the flickering uh, I alternated black and white uh, because to be honest I couldn't find all white I used white in my tree upstairs and then I, I had a few more white um, and I couldn't find any more at Walmart so I went with the black ones because I thought that they tied in with the hole on the black of the uh, bell so while it looks great already I like to add a few little extras in because that, that's me and because of all these lovely pine cones uh, and the rustic look of this I thought that we would go with uh, quite a, a woodland feel and you know what I'm like for the birds in the Christmas trees so um, we're going to add I'm going to show you what we're going to add we've got some deer here these ones are, are like a thick corrugated cardboard and these were from Dollar General this year um, we have these snowy owls those were from uh, Joanne's last year in the clearance maybe last year maybe the year before uh, these little red ones these are also from Joanne's in clearance last year um, these little owls I love these owls these are from Walmart um, this year these ones aren't on a clip they're on a hanger so what I will do is hang them and attach them through like I do th with the other ones that I um, attach on a stem these little birds these ones look quite real um, these ones are from Hobby Lobby um, and then we may add uh, a little Nordic touch to them we'll see when I've added a few of these so like I'll add they they point in a different direction so we'll work out where it's going to go so this one we perhaps have here now the good thing with the wire in the garland is that you can turn it so that your ornament is going in the direction that you want um, these deer I think I'll have so they're actually hanging down so we can work out where we'd like it to sit I like them to be fairly evenly spaced out um, and it doesn't matter whether you're using an ornament like this or whether you're using a, a Christmas ball anything like that they really it's a, a case of making sure that they're they're sort of staggered up and down uh, whichever bit you're decorating um, evenly so like this little bird he sits this way his clips going backwards like this so for me to get him to sit the right way around I'm going to be putting him here you can see he's he's just here and we just turn him so that he he sits like that and so we'll work our way up and add into all of the garland with the birds so as you can see I added there's lots of these birds that they're hiding in here this one here <laughs> you can just about see this one peeking out just here and here I really like how they feel it makes me feel like I'm in sort of like a a forest uh, and so the one last thing I'm going to show you on this one um, is it's an idea for people who don't have um, a mantle to put their 
Christmas stockings on. Um, a lot of people say, I've had no mantle, or if you're like me, my mantle is too busy, too much on it, I can't hang my stockings on it. So, I have an idea to hang them on, to put them on the stairs. Now, I have, in previous years, attached the stockings in and hung them down, and I'll show you how one of those looks. But then I have another idea with some stocking holders. So, these uh, stockings are from Hobby Lobby. And so, in previous years, I've found a space and again the same as with all of these these are the great the great thing with having these wired stems is that you can just hook them over and have your stocking hanging here and we'd have them up and down the staircase now if you're going to put things in it and it's going to be heavy then i would suggest wrapping the piece of garland around the stair spindle because that way uh, it won't fall. But we tend to use them for decoration uh, and then fill them and put them by the Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. So I have these stocking holders which came from Target Dollar Spot, the uh, full size playground, uh, two or three years ago. They're the little houses now. These are ceramic. So I don't want to put them somewhere where they can be broken <laughs> because one did get broken. So, I want to put them on the stairs here to be able to hang the stockings up here so that they don't, uh, dis so you can still see everything that's on here. So what I use is, and I think I used this in a previous video, my winter uh, decorating back in January. This stuff is called Quake Hold, it's museum putty. So it's designed that it will hold anything in place. It's like post attack but this one is white but it's a lot stickier and it really really holds things up so what you have to do is you take a little piece of it in your fingers you can see look it's sticky like chewing gum and you get it and you work it roll it around in your hand the more you warm it up the stickier it's going to become and so when it actually attaches to your item you're going to be able to make sure that it's in place so because this has got a flat bottom to it and we don't want to uh, make it uneven we're going to flatten out the piece of museum putty and you can see look you're making a thin strip very much like a piece of bubble gum and you're going to attach it at the bottom. I'm going to attach it here at the back because that's where it's going to go up against the item. Because it's a railing. So you put it here and you work it, pressing it onto and along your piece. And then you put it down on the place that you want. And then you press down so that you're forming a connection between this piece and this piece now it's very sticky when it's warm in your hands as it cools down it makes a better bond so the longer you leave it before you start hanging stuff on it the better but it will keep it in place and so then you can hang your stocking from here so as you can see they now go up the stairs like this and so that's another option for people that don't necessarily have somewhere else to hang the stockings. I'm not going to do either version this year because we are building something to hang our stockings. But it really is something that a lot of people have been asking as to what, what to do with their stockings. I mean, you can hang them on the wall. Um, you put them on top of an entertainment unit. But if you've got these type of... Uh, stocking holders that will break if they fall that museum putty this quake hold i really really recommend it i will link it down below it's from amazon i haven't seen it in the stores you probably can get it in some hardware store it's not something that i've ever seen it was something that a friend recommended to me years ago uh, and i wish i'd have thought about it when i put these out the first time 
because then I wouldn't have lost one of them to a errant, hmm, I don't know, I think it was a cat. Now I'm filming this end piece again um, because after living with the original um, it, it just wasn't cutting it, there wasn't enough on it for me. Um, if you've seen my other decorating you know I do like to go a little extra. So um, I've added a string of twinkling lights. Um, this Merry Christmas banner which I used on my fireplace last year um, and I wanted to find it a new home um, and I found some other ornaments that I had bought specifically for this but for some reason I'd forgotten to put them in so you can see here this this one and this one here yeah, these are all from the Dollar Tree I only ever saw them once this year uh, didn't manage to see them in in another one and and I added in a parcel ornament that I made from a Sherpa blanket um, anyway I'm much happier with it now um, it's it's much more me so anyway I'm going to edit out the uh, the older part so that you can actually see <laughs> what it really looks like anyway thanks again for watching uh, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the thumbs up but uh, if you like this bye bye